Welcome to TechLogix. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to reset your TP-Link VGI Mini IP Dome using a hardware reset. We'll also guide you through creating a new password to activate your camera and setting its IP address using the VGI Config tool. This process ensures your camera is securely configured and easily accessible on your network. Let's get started. This method involves using the reset button located inside the camera's housing to perform a factory reset. To access the reset switch, you will need to open the camera's dome cover. Before doing this, make sure to turn off the power supply to the camera to avoid any electrical hazard or damage to the device. Once the power is off, carefully unscrew the screws securing the dome cover of the camera. Gently remove the dome to expose the internal components, including the motherboard where the reset switch is located. Be cautious not to force or damage any parts during this process. After opening the camera housing, reconnect the power supply to the camera and wait for 2 to 3 minutes. This waiting period allows the camera to fully boot up and initialize its internal systems. Ensuring the camera is powered on and stable is essential before proceeding to the reset process. During the boot-up process, the camera completes its startup routines, making it ready for any further configuration or reset procedures. Patience during this time helps prevent any interruptions or errors during the reset process later. Once the camera has successfully powered on, locate the reset switch on the motherboard. In this demo video, we show the exact location of the reset switch, so you can easily identify it. This step is crucial for performing an effective factory reset. To reset the camera, press and hold the reset switch for up to 5 seconds. Doing this will initiate the factory reset, restoring all settings to their original state. Reset successful. Rebooting camera. Please wait. You will hear a voice prompt confirming the reset, after which you can start the setup process from scratch, ensuring the camera is properly configured and secure. Once you hear the voice prompt confirming the reset, wait an additional 2 to 3 minutes to allow the camera to fully boot up and stabilize. During this time, the camera completes its startup process and prepares for further configuration. After the camera has fully restarted, carefully put the housing back in place. Ensure the camera is positioned correctly within the dome or housing unit. Fasten the screws securely to reassemble the housing and protect the internal components. Make sure all screws are tightened properly to prevent any movement or exposure of internal parts. Make sure your camera is properly connected to your LAN network before starting the initialization or activation process. You can do this either through the VGI config tool or directly via a web browser. This connection is essential for discovering and managing your camera within your local network. When you open the VGI config tool, navigate to the Device Management page. The tool will automatically search for all connected VGI cameras and devices on the same LAN under the Discover Devices section. This automatic scan simplifies the setup process by quickly detecting compatible devices, allowing you to easily select and configure your camera without manual entry. If your camera status shows as uninitialized, you will need to set up a user account and security questions. To do this, go to the Action section and click the Initialize icon. A pop-up will prompt you to create a strong password, using a combination of uppercase letters, symbols, and numbers, and may ask for your email address for recovery options. This step secures your camera and prepares it for further configuration. After entering your details, select your region and time zone to ensure accurate settings. Then, set up a security question for future password recovery. Once complete, click Finish, and the status will change to Initialized, indicating your camera is ready for network configuration. You can now proceed to assign a static IP address and access your device remotely, enhancing stability and security. To set a static LAN IP address for your camera, navigate to the Action section in the VGI Config tool and click on the Configure Network icon. This feature allows you to manually input the desired IP address, ensuring the camera retains a fixed IP for consistent access and simplified management within your network. Assigning a static IP helps maintain a stable connection and makes remote monitoring more reliable. 
When the configure network pop-up appears, you'll be prompted to enter the camera password you set during the initialization process. After providing the password, input the static IP address that falls within your network's IP range, along with the gateway IP address, which is usually the IP of your modem or router. Correctly entering these details ensures the camera is assigned a fixed IP, preventing issues related to dynamic IP changes and facilitating seamless remote access. Once you've entered all required information, click the Confirm button to save your settings. The camera will now be configured with the static IP address you specified, making it easier to access and manage. It's recommended to verify the network settings to confirm the IP address and gateway are correctly entered for optimal performance. After configuring the IP address, you can access your camera through a web browser by entering its IP address into the address bar. If you encounter a security warning, click Advanced and then Proceed to bypass the warning and access the login page. To view live footage and manage settings, log in using the username and password you created during initialization. This secure login ensures that only authorized users can operate the camera and access its footage. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue providing useful tutorials and insights.